And finally, before we wrap this week's show, there's a fascinating slash borderline scary slash somewhat speculative right now story that I don't want to share with you all. But earlier this week, we came across a report that said the Indian tectonic plate was breaking into two. That sounds rather terrible. It sounds rather scary if you ask me. The Indian tectonic plate breaking into two. What does that mean for those who are living on this tectonic plate? What about those who have their houses built on this, this tectonic plate? What sort of a future should they be preparing for? The story begins anywhere between 35 to 55 million years ago. Two continental plates, the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate, began colliding. When two plates collide, the denser one usually slides beneath the other. That phenomenon is called subduction. But in the case of the Indian and the Eurasian plate, both had a similar density. So what happened? Eventually, the Eurasian plate was thrust skyward. That was the only way the pressure from the collision could be relieved. And that is how the Himalayas were formed. That's the result. Indian plate hits the Eurasian plate and the pressure forces, you know, the Eurasian plate to move up, Himalayas come up. That's, that's what we know so far. Now let's come back to the tectonic plates. While the Eurasian plate was being thrust skyward, Parts of the Indian plate slid beneath it. But because of the plate's density, it did not plunge into the Earth's mantle. Instead, this plate stuck to the belly of the Eurasian plate. Over the years, the Indian plate underwent what's been called delamination. Now, what is delamination? It means it began splitting into layers. The denser part of the plate began peeling away from the rest and from the Indian plate. This part began moving further towards the mantle. Think of it as a, as a tree branch. A part of the branch splits and starts pointing downwards towards the ground, inside the ground. Uh, part of it stays where it is or starts to go up. The result essentially is a tear, and that's what's being spoken about. Now, scientists are saying that they have found some evidence of this tear. They've studied earthquake waves, and they found that the Indian plate is tearing under Tibet. Yeah, the Indian plate does extend into Tibet. Quick point to be noted, the study is yet to be peer-reviewed. So don't run around panicking just yet. Nothing in any case is going to happen for millions of years, if not billions of years. But it's an interesting point, which we're going to continue to keep a close eye on. And as more and more details of this come up, we will report it for you right here on This World.